So this is one of my favorite cases of 2020. This is a patient that had both an epiretinal membrane and a retinal detachment. The patient was macula off and it obtained the um, retinal detachment shortly after an intratrial steroid injection. Um, I believe the steroid injection was due to macular edema from the epiretinal membrane. And so we can see this patient has a posteriorly inserted vitreous base. And so these are really great patients to do scleral buckles on. Um, and so after we've done our core vitrectomy, we put in our ICG to stain the ILM, negatively stain the epiretinal membrane. We're going to remove that ICG. Once again, you can see the detached retina here with shallow subretinal fluid going into the macula. And here's our break straight out temporally and we're able to just vitrectomize right over that break. The patient had previously had a scleral buckle on their eye. So we vitrectomize over that area and these patients with posteriorly inserted vitreous base can be really, really difficult because it's so hard to drain their subretinal fluid because the vitreous is just there and in the way. So now we have the epiretinal membrane in detached retina and we're going to do something that I've learned from my colleagues in South America and I love doing it. It's peeling under perfluoron. So we're going to put in perfluoron and we're going to fill this eye pretty much as full as you can get it uh, with perfluoron, um, at least until you no longer see the edge of the bubble peripherally. Uh, I'm then going to go to a flat contact lens and I'm going to initiate my peeling with these number 13 max grip forceps. Really love these forceps. That's a little weak pinch and peel there, but then I start to get a flap up. Now, what you'll find is as you peel under perfluoron, two things. Number one, you have to keep your tips down close to the retina. You can't lift up. You have to peel the membrane or the ILM back against itself and on the surface of the retina. And number two, you can get some huge peels. So here we can see this ILM slash ERM complex really kind of coming up amazingly well. Um, great visualization in this patient. You can see here how easily we can grasp this. This is sped up um, to two times on the video just to make it a little short shorter I should say and you can get some massive peels here we've gotten it up through the macula I'm just going to peel a little bit of additional um, uh, hyloid slash ERM ILM combination here and once we're done uh, once again with this posteriorly inserted vitreous base I'm going to shave down and I'll actually use my cutter over the break as I go to air and once again with this posteriorly inserted vitreous base it's just really hard um, to get a soft tip into your break. A lot of times it'll occlude with the vitreous, so just do it with your cutter. Then you can go back to the soft tip afterwards. These are great cases, by the way, for vitrectomy under air, which is what we're doing right now. And then we'll go back to our soft tip and drain over our nerve and laser our break, and the patient did great. Thanks for watching.